Revenue's new guidelines on determining employment status for taxation purposes is an important update for all organisations who engage with self-employed contractors. The new guidelines are on foot of a Supreme Court judgment involving the Revenue Commissioners and Carshan Midlands Limited, where pizza delivery drivers were deemed to be employees for tax purposes. In what is considered a landmark case, the judgment reshapes how a business might determine if an individual is considered an employee for tax purposes. We expect to see increased revenue focus on this area through the application of a five-step decision framework as outlined in the Supreme Court judgment as follows. Is there a wage or other remuneration provided in exchange for the work provided? Is the individual agreeing to provide services and not that of a third party? Is the arrangement one whereby the business has sufficient control over the individual such that it is one that is capable of being in employment? If the answer to any of these three questions is no, there cannot be an employment relationship. If the answer to all three questions are yes, the business must consider all facts and circumstances associated with the arrangement in order to make a determination on the employment status. Lastly, consideration should be given to any legislation that might supplement or require an amendment to the conclusions reached in the previous four steps. In light of these new guidelines, businesses should determine whether they need to revisit the positions taken for their current contractors. To note, any services provided through a separate legal entity, such as a personal service company, will not be considered an employment under these guidelines. While Revenue Guidance provides various examples covering a range of professions and industries, the facts of each case must be looked at in isolation in order to make your determination. If you have any queries on this topic, feel free to contact myself, John Galligan, or any other member of your KPMG client service team.